use the remainder theorem in synthetic division to find f of k for the given value of k. f of x is equal to 3x to the fourth minus 17x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 5, where k is equal to negative one third. So we're going to do synthetic division and we're going to do a remainder theorem since that's what they're asking for us to do. So they're telling us that the value of k is equal to negative one third. Okay, and then we're going to write down the leading coefficients. So the first leading coefficient is 3. The second leading coefficient, the second, sure, sec, second coefficient is negative 17. And the next one is negative 3. And the next one is 4. And the last one is 5. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is bring down the 3. Okay, so we're going to take negative 1 third, and then we're going to multiply that by 3 over 1, which gives us negative 3 over 3, which is equal to negative 1, so then we get negative 1 here. So then negative 17 minus 1 is going to give us negative 18. Okay, and then we're going to take negative one-third and multiply that by negative 18 over 1. Well, that's negative times a negative is a positive. That's 1 times 18 is 18. 3 times 1 is 3, so 18 divided by 3 is 6. So we get 6 here. 6 minus 3, or negative 3 plus 6, gives us positive 3. So we're going to take negative one-third and multiply that by 3 over 1, which gives us negative 3 over 3, which is negative 1, so we get negative 1. 4 minus 1 gives us positive 3. And again, we're going to take negative 1 third and multiply that by 3 over 1, which gives us negative 3 over 3, which gives us negative 1. And 5 minus 1 is going to give us 4. So we get a remainder of 4 here. Okay. Now let's use the remainder theorem. The remainder theorem is where we're going to take f of negative 1 third, and then we're going to plug it into the function. So it's going to be 3 times negative 1 third to the fourth power minus 17 times negative one-third to the third power minus three times negative one-third to the second power plus four times negative one-third plus five. Okay, so we're going to have three and then we're going to do the exponents. So remember that negative one-third to the fourth power is equal to negative one third times negative one third times negative one third times negative one third. So a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative is a positive. One times one times one times one is one. Three times three is nine times three is twenty seven times three is eighty one. So we have three times 1 over 81 minus 17 okay so negative 1 third to the third power is negative 1 third times negative 1 third times negative 1 third which is going to be negative 1 over 3 times 3 times 3 which is 27 so we have negative 1 over 27 minus 3 well, negative one-third times negative one-third is going to be positive one over nine plus four times negative one-third plus five. So now we're going to multiply each of these numbers by these fractions. So we have three over 81. 
minus negative 17 times negative 1 over 27 is plus 17 over 27 minus 3 times 1 which is 3 over 1 times 9 which is 9 4 times negative 1 third is going to be minus 4 thirds and then that's plus 5 and we're going to write that all over 1 okay now we can simplify this 3 over 81 because 3 goes into 81 27 times so therefore we're going to have 1 over 27 we have 17 over 27 so the common denominator is going to have to be 27 so 9 times 3 is going to give us 27 so 3 times 3 is going to give us 9 minus over here we got 27 3 times 9 gives us 27 so 4 times 9 is going to give us 36 plus again 27 so 1 times 27 is 27 and then 5 times 27 is equal to 135 so we're going to add 1 plus 17 minus 9 minus 36 plus 135 gives us 108 over 27 and 108 divided by 27 is going to give us 4 so you can see here that synthetic division can give you the remainder much quicker than the remainder theorem but the answer is going to be 4 so let's check I'm going to put 4 and there's our answer.